everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Michelle. Very nice to meet you. And if you guys are coming back, hey, what's up? So today I'm going to show you guys how to play around with latex, liquid latex, to make like those cut looks and stuff. Again, I am new at this, so, but I figured it would be something kind of cool to show everybody. I am learning myself. So pretty much what you're going to need is some um, toilet paper, yes, toilet paper, a scissor, a, some liquid latex, and I'm just putting some in my little cap over here because I do not want to waste too much of it. I just spilled it everywhere gonna have liquid latex all over the place so how are you guys been doing I have been sick so that's how come I haven't been on very much you guys so I apologize so what you're gonna go ahead and do is take some squares of toilet paper depending on how big or small you want your look to be I'm just going to show you a little one going over here. So I just have a little rubber spatula um, brush right over here. And so I got to move this over a little. So all I'm going to do is apply some latex on my face. Now I do have primer on my face and then what you're going to do is take a piece of toilet paper I know it sounds crazy but yes that's what you're going to do and then in between these layers that you're going to put on You're going to go ahead and this brush is not going to work. Alright. Much better. You're going to allow this to dry. So you could use either a hair dryer, a, uh, you can let it dry natural. If you use a hair dryer, make sure it's more in a cool setting. And what you're going to do is that you're going to let your layers dry in between. I'm going to do a fast one for you guys, so this way it won't be about seven hours long like some of my videos are. And generally, I just layer on top of there, but I kind of get the edges a little funky looking. I mean, this is all you're going to be doing with your latex. And then once you get enough layers on there, you're going to go ahead and I'll show you what you're going to do. So I'm going to do the rest of these layers off camera because it's just a repeating of everything that I'm doing. Layer latex, layer tissue, layer latex, layer tissue. So let me finish doing all the layers and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I have my small layer of latex on me. Now another thing I forgot to tell you guys is that when you do your layers you're going to go ahead and you know pull apart your toilet paper. So hold on. So you're going to pull apart the toilet paper in order to do your latex. So now that I got a little bit of one on it's not in the best spot but I'm just here to show you. 
So all you're going to do is, and be careful when you do this, is that you're going to cut through your latex. Now, unfortunately, I did mine so good, it doesn't want to cut. <laughs> Let me see if I got another scissor, because this scissor just doesn't want to grab anything. Scissors do not want to work. And I only have this big one, so. I got my hole. Okay. In there. I am going to take a little bit more of latex. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to smooth down those edges. get a little bit lower, but none of my scissors want to work. <laughs> Why do you have scissors that don't work, huh? So I just made like a little hole area where I'm going to go ahead and put more of the makeup and everything on it and then this way it'll kind of like blend it. <clears throat> This is just regular foundation, you guys. My stick, I grabbed the wrong stick. So now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do a lot of shading, you guys. Lots of shading. So I am going to take a fluffy brush, and I'm mixing it in these reds that I have here.
I'm not so worried so much about the color because I'm going to be doing a lot of shading. So I'm just trying to get the edges out of here. And I'm just doing more of a black and a red around the area. So like I said, I started out with red, just going on the edges. And I'm going to fix the inside. And now all I'm doing is taking the black and still doing kind of like the same thing around the edges. And I think a lot of this is application and how you put it on. Like I said, this one I did a fast one, so it's not the best, but so that's how it's coming out right now. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is that I have my face paints and I'm going to just take a little bit of that red that I have and I'm going to staple that red on. And all I'm using is, like I said, a face palette. And then I am going to do some brown with it. Like I said, I'm going to just go back and forth like this, um, trying to get more of the look that I want. All I'm doing is taking the powder, which is the eyeshadow. That's somewhat of the look that you want. Like I said, um, a lot of shading. Um, we also have. If I thought I saved something for this. Yes, I did. So this is fake blood.
And if you don't have big blood, another trick that you could do is you could use um, like a Vaseline with the red color and put a little Vaseline in that spot and then it makes it look, you know, a little wet and juicy. <laughs> Like I said, this was a fast one. Um, I just kind of like wanted to show you guys some of the things that I learned to do with um, painting with latex. So that is some of what I came up with, you guys. Um, like I said, I am still playing with latex. I'm having fun learning what to do. I've been watching lots of videos. I still don't have all the, um, like my face paints and all that other stuff, the applicators and stuff. So, but this is, and like I said, it's coming, oof, I touched a thing. It's coming up a little over here because I didn't allow it to dry enough. So the point is that you have to let your layers dry in between, but that is some of what I've come up with, like a fast tutorial for you guys. I know my videos are a little bit long, but I hope you guys are enjoying them. I hope you guys are watching them. Give them a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Share it out. I would appreciate it so much. This single mom is uh, trying to get these videos out there, so, but this is what I came up with how do you guys like it like I said very easy very fast it didn't take very long it's a matter of a lot of this is a lot of shading uh, how you do your cuts that makes a big difference I am going to be doing a, another video after this you guys and I'm going to be doing my full mouth so that is going to be something interesting for me I'm so excited about trying it um, something I don't know, I, I, we'll see if I can pull it off, but I'm going to try to do it in a sense that my, like, I see, you see my teeth kind of like, like a zombie, like it's half eaten in a sense. I'm going to, I'm going to challenge myself and try to do it, you guys, so hopefully you guys hit that notification, watch out for that video, but this is what I came up with. Like I said, just an easy way. I would have done it a little bit less here. Like I said, you could put blood on different areas. You could shade your, um, you know, mouth, your your rest of your face to make yourself a little bit more um, grayer. Um, so it just, you know, you just have fun with it. Um, like I said, uh, I. I'm enjoying it, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the look. Um, so comment down below, you guys. Let me know if you have any hints for using latex. Like I said, I am new to it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, spectacular day. And make sure you guys are watching the other videos in this series because I would appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful, fabulous day. Have a spectacular day. And oh my gosh, I cut myself. <laughs> Bye, you guys.